Welcome to Digital Asset News, the top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. So today, this morning, is December 24th. It was Christmas Eve. It's about 8.40 El Paso, Texas time in the morning. And before we get into the big story, I just want to do a quick review about what's been going on the last couple of weeks. So first up, I'm going to play this clip I played a couple of days ago. This is Brian Brooks. He is the czar of the OCC, the Office of the Comptroller of Currency. And he said something very interesting, uh, which I thought was going to be a fantastic uh, ride moving forward. And uh, he said everything's going to be great and we're going to have all these, these great news. And I'll, I'll let him tell you. And it's equally important that we develop the networks behind Bitcoin and other cryptos as it is that we prevent money laundering and terrorism financing. So believe me, there's a balance here and it's going to work for everybody. So that's a neither a yes or no answer to that. Should we be expecting some new regulations by, by the end of the Trump term? I think you're going to see a lot of good news for crypto by the end of the Trump term. Some of it's going to have to do with banks connecting to blockchain. Some of it's going to be more clarity around the nature of these assets. So believe me, there's going to be very positive messages coming out. At the positive same- messages. And we were all excited. Me, me especially, because I actually uh, increased my dollar cost averaging buys every day. But unfortunately, a couple days ago, we got this little action right here. SEC is going to shoot, uh, sue Ripple Labs, at Bradley Garlinghouse, and Christian Larson. And that was a bummer. And we covered that in uh, a couple days ago and also yesterday about what's going on and how uh, Ripple responded to that, which is pretty interesting. But I want to take you back to September 7, 2018. And there was this guy named Elad Roisman, and he was elected to be a commissioner of the SEC, so he is part of the uh, people that actually do all the regulation underneath the Commissioner Jay Clayton. And uh, it was a pretty good uh, pick, and this was a couple of years ago, but just as a little refresher, uh, this guy is, well, back then he was 37, now he's 39, so he's a young guy, so he's got uh, probably some of those uh, other type of uh, thinkings as far as what's going to happen in the future. And before that, he was chief counsel of the U.S. Senate Committee on Banking, Housing, and Urban Affairs. And this article talked about, could this be a breath of fresh air in the SEC? El Roisman has been associated with having a pro-crypto stance. His role within the SEC is expected to support Commissioner Hester Pierce's, I'm going to say that again, Commissioner Hester Pierce's earlier initiative to open financial markets to the world of cryptocurrencies. And during the hearing to approve him, he stated this. I'm going to have you listen to what he says here. The U.S. capital markets are the envy of the world, and the importance of the SEC's role in this cannot be overstated. Throughout its history, the dedicated commissioners and staff of the SEC have worked to preserve the confidence, uh, to preserve confidence as our markets grew and evolved. To continue this, the SEC must examine and re-examine its rules, regulations, and guidelines to ensure that they are still working as intended to accomplish the SEC's mission. This is most recently manifested in areas such as data protection and cybersecurity, as well as the emergence of new investments in technologies such as initial coin offerings and blockchain. It is essential that the SEC approach these new challenges in a fair and transparent manner, provide clarity and certainty to the markets and investors, and enforce the laws and regulations that hold market participants accountable. So I like that. That sounds pretty good. So why am I bringing all this up? Because I'm going to tell you why. Hester Pierce sent out this uh, little tweet about uh, 30 minutes ago, 40 minutes ago, and uh, pretty much said, hey, congratulations to Chairman Roisman. I look forward to your leadership of the SEC because he will be the new chairman. And that, I think, is great news for everybody. So potentially, this could be what Brian Brooks was talking about. Uh, I was on Alex Maschioli's show, and uh, I said, I don't know what Brian Brooks was saying because it just doesn't make any sense. And then Ryan said, well, sometimes you have different levels of organizations that don't know what the left hand's doing as far as the right. So maybe Brian Brooks here only had half the story. Maybe he knew that Roisman was going to be confirmed as a new commissioner, he knew that he was pro cryptocurrency. And he thought this is going to be great. Maybe he had no idea about Clayton coming out and going, "Hey, we're going to sue Ripple." I have no idea. But this is positive news. But you have to understand that the lawsuit that's going on could take potentially years, unless Roisman comes in and says, "You know what? This is ridiculous." Do I think that could happen? I mean, it's a possibility. But the wheels are already in motion, and it's kind of hard to stop the train once it gets moving. So what does this have done? What has this done for the actual price action? Well, not too much. I don't think people have really known about it because it just happened uh, not too long ago. But uh, XRP is down massively, and it's almost pegged the quarter, like I always talk about. Uh, but it's down big time. I expect bumps and valleys, and we'll see what what exactly happens. But this is positive news. It's not just positive news for XRP. And Ripple, it's actually positive news for us as a whole, because if you have somebody in there who is like, you know what, we need to really examine this and look at it, and it could be potentially super positive for us, and really understands that the role that America plays in the uh, global financial markets, 
if he understands that, and I think he does, I think we could see some fireworks this year. And 2021 could be a magnificent year, not just for Bitcoin and all the institutions, but all the other altcoins. Let me understand in the comment section below. And that is it for the Dan Daily Snippet. I will see you tonight where we're going to give away $100 worth of Voyager token in our 24 days of Christmas. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you tonight.